So friends, the Republicans in the House have finally decided to focus on and prioritize a problem that impacts so many working class Americans these days. Hunter Biden's laptop. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, now that the Republicans have a majority in the House of Representatives, though a razor thin and completely unmanageable majority, still a majority, they're turning their attention to the important issues of the day. Right? They're focusing on improving the lives of ordinary, everyday Americans by investigating Hunter Biden's laptop. And based on some recent reporting, it looks like they are even going to screw that up. Here is the new reporting by NBC News. Headline, Hunter Biden asks for criminal probe into Trump allies for theft of data from laptop. And that article begins, Lawyers for Hunter Biden sent letters Wednesday requesting investigations into allies of former President Donald Trump, who they say trafficked in stolen information from his laptop, a dramatic shift in strategy for the president's son after years of GOP attacks. Among the letters, which were obtained by NBC News, was one sent Wednesday asking the Justice Department's National Security Division for an investigation into individuals for whom there is considerable reason to believe violated various federal laws in accessing, copying, manipulating, and or disseminating Mr. Biden's personal computer data, including Rudy Giuliani, who was Trump's lawyer at the time. Biden's lawyers wrote a similar letter to the Delaware Attorney General's office requesting a probe into the same people alleging they violated various Delaware laws in accessing Biden's information from what Trump has called the laptop from hell. And you're going to love this, friends. Giuliani has acknowledged having passed on a copy of the computer's hard drive to the New York Post shortly before the 2020 presidential election. The letters to investigators also recommended an investigation into John Paul Mac Isaac, who has said Biden abandoned the water damaged laptop at his Wilmington, Delaware computer repair store. Because friends, all of that sounds perfectly plausible, right? Ordinary, not at all nefarious. This guy, this computer repair shop guy, John Paul Mac Isaac says, um, Hunter Biden uh, gave me his laptop to repair and then he abandoned it. So, you know, I naturally gave it uh, to Rudy Giuliani, who then gave it to the New York Post just in time for the 2020 presidential election. All you can say to something like that, a narrative like that, is, come on, man, really? Well, it looks like Hunter Biden is tired of being used as a punching bag for the Republican propaganda machine. And seriously, what does this tell us? What does this Republican Hunter Biden investigation nonsense tell us about today's Republican Party? It's focus, its mission, its priorities, well, they don't involve making the lives of ordinary, everyday Americans any better. They don't have any programs or proposals for the issues that we're contending with today, you know, crime, inflation, the insurrection. They have no interest in dealing with any of that. You know, this Republican nonsense prompted me to post the following this morning. 
Examples of the Republicans working to improve the lives of everyday Americans? Let's see. Benghazi investigation, Hillary's emails, Hunter's laptop. Let's face it. Those who can govern do. Those who can't go on absurd investigative witch hunts. You know, friends, I've always said I am no political analyst or expert, but I'm an American voter, and I can see what today's Republican Party is doing right out there in the harsh light of day, and I actually think it's pretty clear that the Republican Party is circling the drain. It will implode. It will crash and burn. And the only remaining question is, what will rise up from the ashes? I suspect that some of what may rise up from the ashes will include people like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, people for whom the continued existence of our democracy is more important than their own reelection prospects. And once this long national nightmare is behind us, and it will be behind us at some point, friends, we will get there. Once it's behind us, maybe we can go back to having discussions and disputes and even arguments over policy matters. Because we will still disagree about policy matters, but maybe when a new Republican Party rises up from the ashes, we will all be able to agree that at least justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.